Hi everyone. I am CM Itali Khose. After understanding the concept of future value, now let's understand the concept of present value. As we have already seen that annuity refers to any series of payment that will be received over a period of time. So it's future series of payment that will be earning. This concept is similar to the concept of inflation in economics as we say whatever value 1 rupee has today it is going to be decreasing tomorrow and so on by using a tool of present value we are trying to find out the real worth of future cash inflows or cash outflows this approach is widely used in various domains such as capital budgeting investment decisions amortization of loans bond valuation as well as while evaluating different projects where capital investment is quite high along with future value concept present value concept is also applicable on ordinary annuity as well as annuity due let's first look at the ordinary annuity let's try to understand with the help of illustration principal amount is 10000 per annum which is known as guaranteed assured sum rate of return is 12% per annum and this 10000 is going to come over next 3 years we are required to calculate the present value of given policy we are using this concept of present value for evaluating investment policy The main difference between future value and present value is that while calculating future value we are investing today so today is either inflow or outflow and we are trying to analyze how much is the worth of this inflow or outflow over next future years whereas present value has exactly opposite viewpoint the revenue or expenditure is going to happen in coming years so today we are looking at that future inflow and we are trying to analyze whether this investment is worth it or not in most of the cases while calculating future value we try to take help from compounding concept whereas while calculating present value the discounting concept is used let's first solve the question using logic then we will also look at the formula as we are going to receive 10000 rupees over next 3 years and as we are calculating pv of ordinary annuity the payments will be received at the end of each year the given return on investment rate is 12% which is commonly referred as discounting rate for calculating discounting factor for each respective year we just add 1 to the percentage the logic behind same is whatever 1 rupee is going to worth today its value is going to depreciate by 12% in coming years and as it is going to be depreciated we will divide this so for calculating year 1's discounting factor we will take 1 divided by 1.12 on calculator then we will place equal to likewise for year 2 we will place equal to one more time when we will multiply annual cash flows with discounting factor of respective years we will get sum of present value of ordinary annuity that will be received at the end of third year which is around 24000 rupees this can also be calculated using formula let's look at the formula for calculating this we will first take discounting factor of year 3 we will reduce it from 1 then we will divide it by the rate of return and eventually we will multiply everything with annual cash flows pv will be approximately 24000 there can be a minor rounding of difference when cash flows are constant over a period of time we can also calculate present value using shortcut for that either memory function or gt function can be used while using memory functions first type 1 divided by 1.12 press equal to press m plus again we will press equal to again m plus 
likewise third time equal to and third time m plus now press mrc we can see the combined annuity factor for entire life of investment this we can also solve similar illustration for annuity due in annuity due payments are received or paid at the beginning of the year rest data is common at the beginning of year 10000 will be received at the beginning of year 2 next 10000 will be received and at the beginning of year 3 10000 will be received though cash flows are constant discounting factor for respect to year will change as we are receiving these 10000 rupees today so present value will be same as whatever amount we are receiving today hence discounting factor at the beginning of period is 1 whatever amount that will be received at the beginning of year 2 we will have discounting factor as 1 divided by 1.12 for amount that will be received at the beginning of year 3 likewise we will calculate discounting factor by taking 1 divided by 1.12 and pressing equal to for two times the only difference that we have here is whatever discounting factor we were having earlier for year 1 now that will become discounting factor for year 2 and likewise the discounting factor that we had for year 2 will become discounting factor for year 3 reason is that here we are receiving payment at the beginning of period whereas in ordinary annuity we were receiving payments at the end of each period this can also be done using shortcut on calculator now we will try to do it using gross total function so we just have to take 1 divided by 1 2 two times press equal to now take gt you will have cumulative annuity factor in front of you multiplied by 10000 rupees which is common cash flow present value will be approximately rupees 26901 this can also be done using formula as money is paid at the beginning of year amount will be multiplied by bracket 1 plus r this is the exact same treatment that we saw in future value calculation let's quickly look at the comparison between present value and future value in tabular format as well as visual representation on timeline as present value has backward looking approach for calculating present value from future value we will use division function hence even in formula we say that instead of multiplying by n we are writing it as raise to minus n while calculating future value from present value we will multiply it hence we can see it is raised to n i hope by now the difference between present value and future value is clear stay curious and i'll see you in the next video thank you